Hello everybody and welcome to One Punch Man Season 2, Episode 1 Anime Review. First things first, sorry this is late, it will normally be out on a Tuesday. If, uh, you know, but uh, I was traveling, my voice is gone, I've been to America Land if you weren't sure. Now I'm back, everything will go back to normal now. But uh, yeah, One Punch Man Season 2. It's not as well animated as Season 1. Let's, I'll, I'll get out of the way at the beginning. But... I was expecting worse, so I'm moderately okay with this. Like, I mean, it is only the first episode. That it could get far worse, and knowing JC staff, it it will, it it definitely will. But for right now, I don't have massive issues. Like, I'm still cautious. I'm cautiously optimistic from this episode, so I can't wait for them to crush my soul. Uh, should also stress. I'm not like a mega fan who has been waiting the years for it for season two. I watched the series two weeks ago in preparation for this. So like, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it though. It was it was good. It was good. Let's get on with the episode because uh, some stuff happened. It was it was. I enjoyed this episode. I think I think I did. I think I was more like paying attention to the animation because and I uh, you know it was it's the thing people were talking about when JC staff took over. It's like what's going to happen. They're not known for their like top quality fight scenes and that. So like, I was paying attention, but I was kind of more paying attention to that. I think anyway. Anyway, let's go through the episode as always. So we start off with them, them shopping, Saitama and Genos. And then there's a creepy tongue guy and there's a hero called King, who is like the toughest hero. I, he looks like, he looks like All Might has like gone through some times. That's what he looks like. But uh, yeah, then the tongue guy gives up but uh, Mr. King wants to quit being a hero, so he goes to buy a game, which is definitely not an eroge. It might just be a dating sim, but I'm going to choose to say it's an eroge, because that makes it funnier. My throat is dying, if you can't tell. Uh, da -da -da. Then another monster shows up, and King, King like, I have to go pee, I'll fight you after that. So he goes to the bathroom and runs away, because he's actually not strong at all. He just happened to be there when monsters were dying. So... They thought it was him, but it wasn't him. It was, well, I'll just say it now. I assume you've seen the episode. It was Saitama, and he was, like, accidentally taking his credit, which is, you know, I'm pretty, oh, that's a good, that's a good way of, you know, kind of bringing it back round, if you know what I mean. What happened next? What happened next? King runs away, as I said, and then Genos decides to fight the giant mecha thing instead. Then, while that's going on, Saitama follows King to his house, Breaks in, he he does break in. He just goes in through the window. That is that is burglary. Well, he didn't, he didn't steal nothing. That is entering. I was gonna say breaking and entering. Didn't break in or break anything. Just entering. But then, then they like play video games or they like talk about playing video games. Do they actually play video games? I don't remember. But then a bird shows up, and uh, Saitama was where we find out that he saved King previously and he was taking his credit. And then Saitama like one shots the bird because of course he does, and uh, then he's like, "Hey King, why don't you just get strong?" I'm like, "That's good advice in theory, but like in practice, it's not that simple." But I see what you're going for. You're being motivational. But meanwhile, Genos has beaten the robot thing, and gives the parts to uh, the professor whose name I did not write down. So I'm sorry, or the doctor, doctor or professor, I forget. Uh, then. We get the little reminder, hey, Genos is still after that cyborg. So I am I think that's going to happen this season. I haven't read the manga. Should should have started with that. Haven't read the manga. Uh, so I don't know. But uh, I would imagine that would be a good stopping point. Or like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's the, the honest truth. One Punch Man doesn't really have a, a massive like overarching plot. It's just a lot of like, not skits. That's the wrong word. But like, there is a plot. No, actually, no, they've, they've got more of a plot now. Season 1 didn't really have a big overarching plot. But it was still good. That's not a bad thing. This show, I feel like, if it had a real complex plot, it would take away from, like, just the ridiculousness of what's actually happening. So, like, no complaints from me. What happened next? Robot parts, the cyborg. Then there's a meeting between a bunch of criminals to, uh, essentially, I guess it's the government. I forget the, the hero people. The hero government, that's what we'll go with. They uh, are like, hey, the the prophecy, the the big threat that was foretold at the end of last season hasn't come yet. We need you guys to help, Cr Miss Criminals. Sonic's there as well. 
not the hedgehog. The uh, he, well, he's fast, but he's he's not a hedgehog, and uh, he's like a ninja sort of. Not a hedgehog. But uh, yeah, so he's there, and then he that meeting's going on. Then he leaves, and there's another group of people that are all after Saitama. And uh, meanwhile, he's playing video games with King, uh, and he breaks the controller. And so no, that was pretty funny. And uh, then after the credits, there's like a scary guy. I don't I don't know his name. I don't think they said his name, but he was with the criminals. So I'm gonna guess he's like gonna sort of. I don't think he's gonna be a straight up villain. He might be like an anti-hero. Because like he's a criminal, but he's gonna be doing good things. I think that might be the way they're going with it. Oh no, I have no idea. But uh, that's just what I think. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm again. I'm cautiously optimistic about season two of One Punch Man. Two Punch Man. That is what we should call it, even though that ruins the joke. From now on, it's Two Punch Man. Uh, thank you for watching Two Punch Man review with me. I'll be here every Tuesday. 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 I know it's Thursday today. Forget that. Uh, I've been up for 25 hours. So, uh, yeah. I will see you on Tuesday for see, uh, episode two. That's the what. That's what I'm talking about. Bye, guys.